Hey, thrill seekers, buckle up for an epic journey into the heart of Brazil's untamed wilderness, Ilha da Queimada Grande, also known as Snake Island. It's not just an adventure, it's a pulse-pounding odyssey into the forbidden, where nature's venomous serpents play a game of life and death. You can forget about the Amazon and join us now for an adrenaline-fueled exploration that'll have you on the edge of your seat. Grab your anti-venom shots and let's dive into the wild, where every step could be your last. Picture this, Ilha de Queimada Grande, a remote island 90 miles from Sao Paulo, guarded by the Brazilian Navy. A mere 110 acres, this no-go area is home to an estimated and astonishing five venomous snakes per square meter. It's a wilderness where every step could be fatal, surrounded by deadly serpents, including the infamous Golden Lancehead. A viper with venom that could literally melt your flesh. Whoa, scary stuff, isn't it? Now, let's slither into the heart of this untamed wilderness and uncover the secrets that make Snake Island both mesmerizing and perilous. Meet the Golden Lancehead, or Bothrops insularis, a species finely tuned by millennia of isolation on Snake Island. Dr. Marcio Martins, a distinguished researcher from the University of Sao Paulo, unveils the venom's brutal potency, a staggering five times more lethal than its mainland counterparts. This nefarious cocktail doesn't merely paralyze its prey, it ingeniously liquefies flesh expediting the digesting process. Are you getting the chills yet? All right, in this deadly symphony of evolution, Dr. Brian Fry, a seasoned venom expert, guides us through the sinister adaptation. The venom's ruthless efficiency is a result of perpetual arms race, a strategic evolution to quickly take down the island's primary food source. Yes, the birds. Swift and merciless, the venom triggers fatal organ failure, condemning its victims to a gruesome demise with a single venomous bite. But what makes these vipers even more dangerous is their delicate ecosystem. Let's dive into the fragile balance of Snake Island, a delicate dance between vipers and birds that paints a perilous picture. Dr. Paulo Sergio Salomão, an esteemed researcher at the Butantan Institute, illuminates the intricacies of this delicate balance. Here, the vipers, especially the deadly golden lancehead, rely on the abundant bird population as their culinary cornerstone. The island's isolation has created a unique haven for migratory birds, using it as a vital rest stop in their journeys ahead. The cyclical harmony of this relationship is critical for both species, as the birds find sanctuary and the vipers secure their primary source of sustenance. However, this delicate equilibrium is under constant threat. Dr. Salomão underscores the catastrophic consequences that could unfold if this delicate balance was disturbed, emphasizing the vital role of conservation efforts backed by the vigilant watch of the Brazilian Navy. Let's now unravel the island's dark and tragic history, echoing with tales of some spine-chilling encounters. A journey back to the early 20th century, when a lighthouse keeper's family met a grim fate, attacked by snakes slithering through their windows. Though lacking solid evidence, these tales serve as cautionary whispers, reinforcing the island's danger. Local law even suggests pirates release the snakes to guard buried treasure, but reality unveils a different story. The snake's isolation due to rising sea levels some 11,000 years ago. Adding further gravitas are chilling incidents etched in time. In 1909, a fisherman, enticed by the island's mystique, fell victim to a viper's bite, succumbing to venom on the mainland. This tragedy catalyzed stringent regulations against unauthorized landings. Fast forward to 1925, when the island's venomous residents struck again. Renowned researcher Paolo Soaya faced a near-fatal encounter. Bitten by a golden lancehead during his study, quick thinking and colleagues' rapid response narrowly averted a lethal outcome, underscoring the genuine dangers researchers can confront. 
The year, 1985, witnessed the closure of the island's last lighthouse. Uh, safety concerns regarding the Viper population compelled the final keeper's departure. These incidents, steeped in tragedy, underscore the peril for those underestimating the island's venomous residents. Yet, it's crucial to avoid sensationalizing events on this island. Recognizing Snake Island's ecosystem's profound ecological significance demands certain respect and understanding. Let's now explore the quest for venom, sometimes even in illicit ways. The venom of the Golden Lancet is a scientific marvel, attracting researchers and adventurers alike. Medicinal experts worldwide are intrigued by its potential applications in cardiac treatments and are drawn to its elixir of the wild. However, the siren call extends beyond the scientific realm, tempting some towards illicit pursuits. The black market's insatiable demand for this venom entices risk-takers to venture to the Snake Island, defying the Brazilian government's strict regulations. In their bid for profit, these daring individuals jeopardize not only their own lives, but also the delicate equilibrium between humans and the island's venomous inhabitants, a balance safeguarded by stringent governmental measures. Let's now embark on a rendezvous with the real-life Indiana Joneses, the herpetologists fearlessly risking it all to unravel the secrets of Snake Island's venomous denizens. Meet Dr. Marcio Martins and Dr. Brian Fry, intrepid researchers braving peril to study the island's venomous inhabitants. Their work extends far beyond the thrill of adventure. It's a critical contribution to understanding venom evolution, crafting life-saving anti-venom and unearthing potential new drugs. Dr. Anna Carolina Yamashita underscores the gravity of their mission, emphasizing the vital need for minimal human impact in comprehending this unique viper population. These daring endeavors not only enrich our understanding of the island's ecosystem, but also promise medical breakthroughs, reinforcing the immense plunders that come with the perilous pursuit of knowledge. And now, let's enter the arena of survival, as we unveil the Snake Island's profound influence on its local wildlife, extending beyond the mesmerizing dance of serpents. The delicate balance within the ecosystem has spurred a struggle for adaptation among other species, facing the imminent threat of extinction. Renowned ecologist Dr. Renata Oliveira takes the helm, elucidating the intricate ripple effect triggered by shifts in the snake population. Her groundbreaking research unveils how these changes resonate through the island's flora and fauna, painting a vivid portrait of the interconnected web of life. From the smallest organisms to towering vegetation, each element dances to the tune set by the serpentine inhabitants. It's a saga of survival, where every creature must navigate the perilous landscape sculpted by the enigmatic forces of Snake Island, adding another layer of complexity to this forbidden wilderness. Now, let's delve into the elusive allure that captivates researchers and the risks they face in unlocking Snake Island's secrets. Meet dedicated explorers Dr. Renata Oliveira and Dr. Marcos Lima, enticed by the island's alluring mysteries. Their commitment extends beyond the perils posed by venomous serpents and the unforgiving environment. It's a journey fraught with challenge, but the dividends are colossal. These intrepid researchers contribute substantially to our comprehension of venom dynamics, the evolution of species, and the intricate balance within isolated ecosystems. Their findings not only broaden the scientific landscape, but also shed light on the complex tapestry of life woven within the dangers of Snake Island adding another layer of fascination to this banned dominion. As we venture further into the forbidden, let's explore the myths enveloping Snake Island and the hidden treasures that fuel centuries-old legends. The captivating tales of pirates strategically placing serpents to guard concealed riches have endured through time. Yet, under the meticulous scrutiny of historical investigation, a distinct narrative has emerged. Dr. Isabel Santos, a maritime historian, becomes our guide through the intricate web of pirate lore. He delved into the tantalizing myths of buried treasures and the elusive allure that Snake Island holds. However, as the layers are peeled back, the veracity of these legends stands on shaky ground, challenging preconceived notions and introducing a twist to the island's mysterious narrative.
Finally, let's behold the custodians of secrecy, the Brazilian Navy, standing resolute as the Guardians, vehemently upholding Snake Island's forbidden status. Some believe they are hiding something on this mysterious island, but in an exclusive interview, Rear Admiral Carlos Rocha unveils the complex fabric of challenges and responsibilities that come with shielding both human lives and the unparalleled biodiversity of Snake Island. The Navy's role transcends mere gatekeeping. It's a delicate ballet between granting access to essential research and fortifying protective measures against potential harm. A nuanced understanding emerges of the relentless efforts undertaken to maintain the island's mystique while ensuring the safety of all who dare to venture into this treacherous yet captivating realm. And as we wrap up this journey, remember, it's not just about the danger, it's about unlocking nature's deadly secrets. So. There you have it, brave souls, the forbidden allure of Snake Island, where danger and fascination entwine. The Brazilian Navy's strict control, tragic tales, and the quest for forbidden knowledge all blend into a story that both fascinates and terrifies. Now, tell us, fellow adventurers, what's your take on this lethal odyssey? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, hit that like button if you've enjoyed this primal scream into the emerald void, and stay curious and stay safe. Until our next forbidden adventure, this is your host, signing off from Hidden Horizons Media.